What's up YouTube? It's Blue Collar Reef again. It's been about four months probably since you've seen this tank and it was empty with some rock in it. No water, nothing else. So I did one video showing my 40 gallon tank upstairs. I'll do another one of those soon. But wanted to go ahead and give you an update now that I have some water in here and let you know what's going on with the tank. Um, as you can see, the aquascape really hasn't changed from when we first laid it out and put it in the tank. Uh, once I had it sat in water, left everything alone. Started the tank off, I let it just run with water in it, no lights, for just about three months. Let everything acclimate. I also used some Dr. Tim's and uh, some seed as well, just to get the bacteria started. I let that go for about a week and then I added the two damsels you see in the tank. Uh, the blue one's cool. The black domino damsel is awful. He attacks everything, which is what you get from a $5 fish, which is pretty sweet. So I'm currently in the process of trying to catch him. It's not easy. A few other fish in the tank. There's also a red dragonette hopping around the tank in there somewhere. He's usually out and about. And there's also a really neat orange rabbit fish, orange spot rabbit fish, but he also is a little camera shy, so they may make an appearance later. As you can also see, I've added some corals in there. Um, put a little bit of everything to start. Uh, I'm lucky enough to have a good buddy that had a lot of frags he was willing to give me to, to get started, and then I've added a couple others as well. Uh, I really wanted to start with a diverse group of coral, some SPS, some LPS, some soft, really just to see how it would go, how things would respond, what parameters I need to change, I need to change the lights, those kind of things. Um, luckily, for the most part, everything is done really well. Uh, there was one frag that didn't look good from the beginning. It's actually just laying in there. It's just a little calcium source at this point. But uh, everything else has done well, grown a little bit. Uh, the Euphilia have done really well. They started as little frags and have really blossomed in the tank. Everything else has been, been going pretty strong. I'm uh, currently in the process of getting ready to start dosing some, some additives as well, some extra calcium, alkalinity, magnesium just to boost things up, but right now I'm really just kind of letting things go and doing small water changes. I use uh, Red Sea Coral Pro Salt, which is pretty close to the parameters I want for the tank, and for the most part it's done everything I needed it to. Uh, a few areas I could use a little more flow and uh, need to tweak my lighting a little bit yet, it's not quite where I want it, but that's all part of it. Uh, also, as you see, anyone who's set up a tank before, or if you're getting ready to set up your first tank, as you go through the initial cycle of getting your tank ready for fish and livestock, you're going to get this lovely brown stuff. Uh, a lot of people call it algae. It's really just a bacterial bloom, part of the natural cycle. Every tank goes through it as it's getting established. If you start with uh, live rock, wet live rock that's been an established system, you might be able to skip it just because it's already gone through that, but with a new tank, especially with dry rock, this is something you're going to get. It'll pass, it's nothing to panic about. When I do water changes, I just suck some of the bigger clumps out, just to, for appearance, and most of it wipes right off. Um, but again, if it's a new tank, it's nothing to panic about, it's just part of the initial cycle of getting things started. Uh, no reason to start messing with water chemistry or adding chemicals, it's just not needed yet. Uh, well, maybe the rabbit fish will make an appearance, we'll see, he's starting to poke his head out of the corner, but he's hiding. Um, but anyway, that's kind of where the tank is at, I want to update you with that so you can see it. Uh, if you have questions about any of the things I used to start the cycle, or um, why I waited so long to add fish after I added water, please feel free to throw me a comment, I'll gladly answer. Uh, the one other thing I was going to show quick, May not show up too well because it's not lit up right now, but obviously my filters are all up and running. And like I said, pretty hard to see, probably not showing up at all. So we'll show that on another episode when the lights are on. Uh, the refugium is completely full of algae, so that's doing its job, growing the chato well. Skimmer's working, filter socks work, all that is good. So that's just kind of a quick update, let you know where the tank's at. Uh, I'll do some more in-depth ones where we'll go over uh, what I'm using for lighting, <clears throat> how the corals are progressing, what things have changed, if I'm adding anything to the water, all that fun stuff. Um, but as far as the initial hardware plumbing, 
all the stuff we've covered in previous episodes. I haven't had a need to change any of that yet. It's all gone well. Um, auto top off in the other room works great. Keep the water stable and slowly where it should be. So this is the tank where it's at. Hopefully here won't make you wait four to six months for the next update. But uh, if there's any more corals added or fish added, and I'll gladly share any success stories or difficulties. Only trouble I've had to date is I added a nice lemon peel dwarf angel. Beautiful fish. Just never took to the tank. It hid constantly. My guess is the domino damsel was picking at it when it would come out. Uh, kept it fed. You know, it stayed alive for almost a month and a half, but eventually it did pass away. Um, unfortunately, that's part of the hobby. You're just No matter if you do everything perfect, sometimes you're just going to lose a fish or a coral. Uh, you just do the best thing you can to make sure you're testing your water and doing the best for the animals that you put in there. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. We'll do another one of the, uh, the smaller tank upstairs here shortly, and then I'll get you an update on this one as more livestock's added. And uh, look at that, the rabbit fish finally decided to come out. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.